Welcome to AI Flux. Today we're talking about AI ponies or using stable diffusion with a model that has been uh, explicitly tuned and uh, directed to only make ponies with stable diffusion. So there are a number of other models that have done this. Uh, the other notable one from the creator of this model, uh, Astrolite Heart, is Waifu Diffusion, which is using AI, uh, novel AI, to create waifus. Um, ironically, no one has turned that into a service that will create AI waifu pillows on Etsy, but I'm sure we'll see that at some point. So uh, why are these models interesting? So I think these models are interesting because their implementation is, is pretty complex, but is also pretty simple. Uh, they're, you're able to pull out uh, the PyTorch model and they actually make it downloadable, which is cool, which also means that we can demo this live, which is something that a lot of you have been asking for. Uh, also, the model is pretty simple to implement in PyTorch if you want to run this locally. So not to say that the implementation technically is simple, but it's cool that you can sort of place this uh, filter on top of stable diffusion and then have a model that's pretty good at doing one thing without a ton of work to have it do that. So yeah, this is out of CompViz. Uh, they've done some other interesting things. Uh, they mentioned novel AI for it's the GPUs they borrowed to do this. And uh, yeah, I, I'm not a brony, uh, no, nothing against you if you're a brony, but it's ironic that someone sat down and said, you know, I think we really need a stable diffusion model that only makes granted really good looking artistic ponies from My Little Pony. So also, th this will be an interesting time to show you all how uh, collabs work. If you've used um, a Jupyter Notebook before, this is effectively just a, a Jupyter Notebook in Google's cloud somewhere. And uh, yeah, I I'll probably have to speed some of this up, but uh, basically you start from the top clicking these play buttons, which runs the code and uh, yeah, we, at the end of this, will, in theory, have generated ponies without paying for GPUs, um, a little bit slower, but uh, here we go. So, um, okay, that's fine. No, I'm not a robot. Um, yeah, so this is just installing. Might need to speed things up a little bit here, but uh, we'll, we'll watch things install. I don't think this will take too long. I spend enough of my time during the week watching Python dependencies install. So I mean, this, this should be uh, cool and entertaining to some of you, and to some of you this might be uh, a little nauseating. Okay, that's done. And now we can run this. Um, if you've used Stable Diffusion locally, you, you, you're aware there are a number of front ends that you can use with this. Um, this one has Gradio installed, so when we run this again, this should prompt Gradio to show up. All right, so as you can see, after we sped that up, uh, which is you know three minutes or so, we now have pony diffusion. So I don't, nothing against it. I don't watch a lot of uh, pony content, so I am going to copy some of the suggested prompts they have here. Nothing against it. Uh, I'll modify it so it looks. A bit more interesting. Uh, let me find the color. There we go. So let's see. Um, what should we change? I'll say bright blue and air force. And since you're using a GPU that's not yours, it takes a, a little longer and they want to make sure you're not farming this. So 
you'll see that, yeah, it's, the speed's pretty slow. It's about two iterations per second, uh, depending on your GPU. I think my A5000 gets about twice that. Depends on the model though, so it's hard to compare. Okay, so 51 iterations, and we have ponies. So let me take out, uh, let me see here, I'll say uh, Air Force Flight Suit, no veil. And I think you, it, th these are just timed, so these collabs will just expire after a certain amount of time. But, uh, but yeah, you see everything we're putting in. Uh, I didn't explicitly put Pony anywhere or My Little Pony. And um, it's been pretty straightforward. And uh, yeah, so if you want to make endless ponies or have your own um, pony. Oh, that worked. <laughs> uh, this might be. So the, the funny thing with this is uh, the, the NSFW filter is still is. So enabled. So anything that's NSFW, it'll black out. And the irony <laughs> is this model uh, about, I'd say 20 to 30% of the time will end up with something that the stable diffusion model itself thinks is sexually explicit. And ironically, none of what I just put in is sexually explicit. So um, I think we have that creative liberty to thank the Brony community for. Major shout out to the Brony community. Um, so yeah, uh, I, I, I'm going to try to make this the thumbnail with all due respect. And uh, yeah, so thank you everyone. Uh, if you want to sign up for our service that will sign you up automatically for new uh, AI tools, uh, send us an email or drop a comment. If you'd like to be part of our newsletter, which we're going to send out when we feel like it, uh, also, tell us in the comments. We are open to doing more stuff that's collab based. Uh, it might narrow the scope a little bit initially, but we're also working on building collabs or collab templates for stuff we've worked on in the past, assuming the code's been released. So yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one. And I hope all of you have a good rest of your day.